Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy AKMins12 here, back with some more Battlefield action for you guys. And this time we're going to be rolling in the TU-90, I think it's a T-90A, yeah, T-90A tank, rolling with a ra random gunner I've never even played with before as I take out the, their, uh, their uh, mobile artillery, whatever you want to call it. But today I'm going to give you guys some tips for using the T-90A or any type of tank in Battlefield, because they're pretty much all the same, there isn't really much of a difference. Now, you see one thing, I'm aiming at this guy, He, I know he's not going to kill me at all because he's an AA, and plus he's at a far range, sitting at D-Flag, doing absolutely nothing. If you're an AA, don't play like you're a tank, play like you're an AA. Now, I'm not saying camp in the back of your base, because that's not exactly what you want to do with a tank, but... Play more conservative. Play more comfortable from what you're used to playing with. That's what, that's what this video is all about. Play in your comfort zone. Now, a lot of people are having trouble trying to find their comfort zone in the tank as I try to aim this guy at long range, get a cheeky little hit marker, and don't even kill him, which is kind of unfortunate. But when it comes to these type of situations, you want to get yourself in a comfort zone. Now, my comfort zone right now is A and B flag, but I know that there's nobody on D flag, so I decided to cap it. Basically, you want to find that one spot that you know that you can hold down and also I say this in plenty of videos and I'm sure you've heard it in plenty of other people's videos uh, more specifically X Factor your tank is only as strong as the infantry around you look at C flag there is absolutely nobody at C flag I wanted to make a push so badly but I knew that there was nobody there so I decided let me wait until I get some more backup as I try to aim at this helicopter and miss miserably so I eventually do get help at C and now A flag has a problem there's a tank right there I don't know if he sees me or not but I decide to engage him first and thankfully like I said infantry helps out I get some help from the guys in the back of the map at A flag and they eventually see for that tank give Giving me the kill assist which is useful now I decided to make a push for C flag and a flag because I know there's a there's a strong push going on with the infantry take out this guy at long range he's not paying attention I see a couple uh, blotches going on in the building so I figured let me take out the wall noobs hug wall don't ever hug a wall if you're getting engaged by a tank because you're just gonna get blown up as I see this jet don't if you're a jet pilot guys don't fly low because that right what you just saw right there that's what's gonna happen to you if you fly low don't ever fly with low with a, with a jet I'll talk about and that, about that in the later video but as you see they're slowly starting to take a flag back I, I was about to make a push for it and i see a tank moving up on the road i was going to make a push but one there's three things you got to watch out for and that is one mines two c4 and three infantry with rockets as I, I back up because i thought there was a guy behind me but he was eventually dead so I know that this tank knows that I'm here because I killed him twice already. He decides to engage me first, misses his first shot. I got I got the first shot on him, but I noticed that there's two tanks. That's why I decided to back up. I could have easily killed that guy if I wanted to, but I decided to back up because I know that I'm outnumbered with the other tank. I don't know what this other tank is thinking, but I know that if I try to engage both of these guys, they're going to kill me. So I decided to pop my APS. APS, that's, what, that's how you properly use APS, guys. Your active protection system, it is useful for getting out of sticky situations. I know I was in a sticky situation because there's two tanks fighting me and I know for a fact that I would not win that unless they're absolutely garbage players which is pretty rare it's not really gonna happen so then I start getting tickled by this little scout chopper right here and he's making a fatal mistake he is flying low don't ever fly low if you're in these types of vehicles I know he has a 30 the 30 millimeter gunner so he decides to back off for whatever reason I guess he decided to go for the other chopper so thankfully it's like I said, useful to play with friends in this game because as you can see, that guy in the jet, he's one of my friends. I'm playing with a squad of five, so I have some backup. Solo tanking is one of the hardest things when it comes to this, but if you have players who are good, who can watch your back, who are in jets and scouts and all that other type of vehicles, you're guaranteed to do well in these types of vehicles. So I notice uh, people at A flag are starting to die pretty quickly, and we still do not have B flag. Or actually, I think, that, I think that's A flag in the back. Yeah, I'm mixing up the flag. Sorry, guys. But as you notice, we still don't have A flag at the moment, and I notice that there's a couple guys at A at B flag now. So I had to take out that one guy. I think there was only one. So I decided to back off, take out this guy in, on the back of the map, get the suppression assist, and I know that there's a tank up there. There's another tank sitting right there, but thankfully I didn't have to worry about it because one... There was another tank there. So now I get myself in another sticky situation. There's another tank sitting right there. I didn't expect him to push up at all. Surprisingly, he grew a pair of balls and decided to push up. But for, for whatever reason, he decides to get out of the tank and gives me a free kill on his uh, little 
uh, Jeep car right there, and I get that thing stolen by the thing. Now here's another situation, sticky situation. I'm out of my comfort zone. This tank decides to push up for whatever reason. He thought I was dead, but I guess he figured out he saw me on the mini map and decides to finally start engaging me. Almost hits me from behind, so I pop APS to prevent getting hit with a critical hit. Because if I get hit with a critical hit, there's no chance of me getting out of that because I'm disabled. I can't move. There's no way I can get out of there. Popping APS won't make do any good in that type of situation. But like I said, I had backup from plenty of the infantry around me they all have rockets they're ready to take out and pretty much here's what it unfortunately here's how it goes most people in battlefield they're going to go for kills so the reason why i say stick around infantry is because everybody's going to be running engineer they see a tank they're going to be a prime target for the tank the tank is going to want to take them out and then the people who are in the ground infantry they're going to be hungry for kills as well trying to shoot rpgs across the map take out the take out the tank so that's why i say stay around infantry never go alone in a tank unless by some reason you're just a god in the tank and you can take out the entire world as i take out this guy not entirely sure what he was thinking so I finally realized that we're, we're A flag is still kind of not capped right now and there's a lot of heat going on back there so I figured well let me try to go on the side because there's a couple there's a tank behind me or a lav whatever you want to call it there's a lav on my side so I decided to make a push up on this mid area but I noticed that there's a guy on the mini map right there as I start engaging him but thankfully the lav takes him out and I get, there's something that I don't really expect to see often I get flashed right here flash to the point where I can't even see I don't understand how that happened but I, I didn't know you could get flashed in a tank because it's never really happened to me before so I figured let me back up a little bit because I don't know if I'm gonna get C4 or anything I can't see it on radar because nobody spots in this game anymore which is unfortunate so I decide let me make a push up on this flag right here but there are mines in the road you see that little white dot that's on the ground right in the middle of my cannon I'm not sure if that's a mine or not, so I'm not pushing forward at all. But I'm pushed forward enough just to cap this flag, which is good enough for me. And I noticed we just got B lost. They neutralized it, so I decided to back up. I don't know if I'm going to get C for it again. So I decide, let me turn my tank around so in case there's a tank behind me, I can take the less, least amount of damage as I see did not see these three guys lying on the ground. One of them was smart and decides to get up. Two of them, not so lucky. Thankfully, infantry takes him out as I do get the assist there later on. Not entirely sure where he went, but I know for a fact that he died because the blueberry just happened to be right in front of him. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. This is some tanking action. Let me know what you guys think if this guy's helped you out as well when it comes to tanking tips. Anyways, it's your boy AK, signing out. Peace!